Here we have a new 2023 Hyundai Tucson. This one comes in the SCL trim level with the convenience package. And this is the beautiful Serenity White Pearl. And then we have gray H-Tex trim interior as part of that convenience package. And the powertrain consists of a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder, made it to that eight speed automatic transmission. Now as we come around to the front end here, we do get our LED headlamps on with LED daytime running lights and they don't flash like that. That's just how my camera's picking it up. But ever since they've redesigned the Tucson, love the new front end here. Got that galvanized gray finished grill. Just a great look. And down here, we get the 19 inch aluminum wheels, which look really good. We get passive keyless entry on the front doors. And then we do have one touch automatic up and down windows for the front. Then we just have regular power windows for the back. Rear window lock there. And then we have our power mirrors that we can adjust here and power door lock controls as well. Little storage in the door panel here, bottle holder there. And then over here we have our brightness for the gauge cluster. We can hold this for our power lift gate. And then we have our traction control we can toggle as well. As well as the manual tilt telescope steering wheel. And then here we have our power driver seat with two-way power lumbar support. But add that seat up front adjust for someone of my size being six foot three with longer legs. So let's go ahead and check out this space. So decent space back here. One thing that helps is being able to recline the seat backs, which you don't see a lot, especially in vehicles at this price point. So that's pretty impressive to me. And then we do have netted seat back pockets on both sides. And there's a view of the front from back here. And I love that we get the LED dome lights. So again, pretty impressive in terms of leg room. And then middle seat folds down, cup holders are there. And I love Hyundai's hooks. You can probably hang two regular size hangers on that hanger hook there. But a huge shout out to Hyundai of Cool Springs for allowing me to review this Tucson today. I'll leave a link below to the vehicle as well as their entire inventory in the description below. Well, let's take a look at this window sticker. So you can pause anywhere you need to. And the convenience package for me, I definitely think is worth that $22.50. Because for what you get with this vehicle, $33,315 is not bad at all. But let's make our way towards the back. Fuel cap there. Sorry if it's kind of loud. It's a little bit windy and then I'm right next to the interstate. And there's look at the back end there. We do get LED tail lights. Again, they don't flash. That's just how the camera's picking it up. We do have a tow hitch as well. Probably mostly for just bikes or something like that. but tons of cargo space behind that second row. Very impressed by that. Floor mats are here, and then we have the spare underneath there. Then we do get a 12 volt back here, and then we can actually use this to fold the seats flat up front. So you can see how much more space you get with that second row folded. So if you need longer objects to go in there, or just more cargo space, you have that capability. So pretty easy to just snap that back into place. And again, you can just fold it flat there while also using that same lever to recline if you want to. Now to the front passenger seat, this is gonna be a four-way manual seat. But I will say I love the perforated look it makes these seats look really premium. And then glove compartment, decent size. And I think I forgot to pop the hood, so next I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
So there's that 2.5 liter Smart Stream naturally aspirated four cylinder engine, which usually gets the job done pretty adequately. Now I love the turbo setup more, but again, it's a pretty good engine for what it is. But hopping in the driver's seat here, we do get a nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Feels pretty good. Cut the AC down over here. To the radio, we have AM, FM, and XM. And we can choose between those bands there. And then we do have wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto compatibility along with Bluetooth. And then over here, we can go through our general settings so if you want to change the language right in there and then if you want to change date time all of that right in there and this is a pretty simple setup here for the the radio and i like that about this one because it actually does quite a bit without being super complicated and there's a backup camera there, guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. And then we do have shortcuts on the side there. So you hit that media button if your phone's set up and then you can go through your tune and then a quick settings button there, Wi-Fi hotspot and your climate controls. You can pull those up here if you wanna recirculate the air, automatic ventilation, you can toggle all of that. And then volume control, you can use that as a mute and then you can hold it and then power the system off. But down here for the cruise controls, you can adjust temperature here. You can unsync just by toggling the passenger side temperature control, or you can just hit that button. And then AC toggle there, fan speed here, and then you can turn the whole system off there. And then you have three stage auto mode. So you have a low, high, and a medium to get you to whatever temperature you have set up here. And you can adjust where the air is coming from here. And we do have a diffuse there and then the rear defroster as well as the front defroster shortcuts right there. Now down here, we have the USB port, it's both USB A's. Now this is for your CarPlay Android Auto and then that's just a charge port. Then you have a 12 volt here and a wireless charging indicator there. And that's your wireless charging pad right here. Now you do get, as part of that convenience package, the leather wrap shifter. So you just pull the lever behind, reverse neutral drive, and then you can come over here and you can manually shift that eight speed. And then you can toggle your auto stop here, your camera, your automatic brake hold, as well as your hill descent. And then you have an electronic parking brake, just pull up to engage, hit the brake, press down to disengage. And then your three stage heated seats for the driver front passenger right here. And then for the center console cubby space, pretty decent size, no charge ports or anything, but you do have that additional storage. I mean, we do get the premium dome lights here as well. And then we also have that power sunroof control here. So you can one touch slide that back. You can tilt it as well, but you can also close it one touch too, so. There's a view of the back seat from up here. Now back to the steering wheel, blinkers here headlamps, corners, auto, off. And then in auto, you can toggle those automatic high beams. That indicator will come up at the top of the gauge cluster. And then you can toggle your high, your low beams, or high beams, excuse me, when your low beams are on by hitting that and then turn them off by flashing off. And then you can flash as well. Now for the windshield wipers, we do have one touch and then we have intermittent low high. We're gonna adjust our intermittent here. And then we have our rear wiper there and then pull back for the rear wiper fluid, push up for the front wiper fluid. And then to the steering wheel itself, favorites, you can set that up there. So when I click that, you can actually choose what that button does. And then you can set up the mode button here so it'll toggle through your audio sources as well. So for that button there, you can go through AM, FM, XM, or if you wanna turn something off, you can do that. Voice recognition's here, volume control's here, that's a mute. And then you can go through your track list or radio station presets here, Bluetooth button, and then to the right side of the steering wheel, smart cruise, and then gap adjust for that lane centering. And then we can use this to go through the sub menus of the gauge cluster. And then we can adjust 
within each sub menu when applicable the different views and then this is just for the cruise to set and resume that and then we have push button start hazards are here finally here's the key fob with remote start 